Hi, welcome to the National Greatest Choice. And uh, we have a new uh, e-fielder, Culinary Institute of America, Singapore. Uh, this, can you tell us more about the the, cult, the culture of street food, uh, you know, in, in Singapore and Southeast Asia. Yes. And what's the future for the students? Do you think the students, uh, you know, at the institute were able to benefit the learning, and are they able to take this learning to uh, the, the next level? Yes. Well, Robin, just to, to give you a little bit of background about the Culinary Institute of America, um, we have been in the United States since 1946, delivering culinary education. And we expanded into Singapore in 2011. And part of our reason for being here is we are um, a world-class institution, and it was to spread our brand and our educational product here. We have been committed to traditional food ways since our beginning, it's part of our mission, but Im important to know is that in 1996 we started a uh, conference, a yearly conference called the World of Food, and at the, I'm sorry, the World of Flavors, and at the World of Flavors conference, it, we actually focus on different topics. It may be casual food, it may be street food, it may be a country, Japan or Spain, it may be rising Asia. And we do this conference every year for 800 food professionals. And we bring in the the top food opinion leaders from all over the world, um, the top chefs from, you know, just by way of example, from Japan, we brought in udon noodle makers all the way up to Michelin star chefs to share their traditional food ways with the, the American professional in the food industry. And so our commitment as an educational institution is not only for documentation of traditional food ways, but also of having our conferences and then reflecting that back into our curriculum. So in our curriculum at the moment, we teach a semester of global cuisines. Our, our curriculum really is about the science of food, so our students have over 1,300 hours of hands-on experience, as well as learning about the different techniques and variances and flavor profiles of the major global regions throughout the world. So we have a commitment that our students, through a very structured curriculum, 132 credit hours, that they learn about the business, that they learn about flavors, that they learn about techniques of cooking, and that they then go into any part of the industry that they that they deem that they want to, that, that they can make a difference. And we have 46,000 graduates in all segments of the industry all over the world. So um, we, uh, we have a great commitment to traditional, but we, most importantly is that we are educating the leaders of the food industry. And what's next for the Culinary uh, Institute of America here in Singapore? Yes. Uh, is, will there be a conference of such nature uh, happening in, in the near future? Well, every year we have a partnership at the moment. Um, let me back up just a second. Out of the World of Flavors Conference that we started in 1996 has come a conference that we call the World of Healthy Flavors. And what this basically is, is a conference where we bring in, it's in invitation only. So we bring in 200 of the major players in the food industry and we bring in scientists. It's a partnership with Harvard School of Public Health. Harvard School of Public Health brings in the scientists. We bring in the chefs and the food professionals who come together and talk about what is going on with the health of our, our globe. Are we as food professionals understanding the issues around healthy foods? So I'm telling you this because last year we did the World of Healthy Flavors with um, the Health Promotion Board, Harvard so School of Public Health, and uh, the National University of Singapore's public health uh, um, area. And we will do that again next year for the next two years. Ultimately, we will bring the World of Flavors conference here, but in the moment we are just doing the World of Healthy Flavors. How can our viewers contact you for more information uh, about 
the Culinary Institute of America here in Singapore, I'm, I'm sure that uh, it'll, uh, there will be a lot of inquiries and my viewers would like to engage and even, uh, you know, get a bachelor's degree. Yes, yes, yes. Um, you can contact me. We actually are under the umbrella of the Singapore Institute of Technology, which is the fifth university in Singapore. So you can either contact us through the Singapore Institute of Technology, who manages our admissions, or you can look us up on www.ciachef.edu.sg. Well, once again, uh, Ms. Eva Felder, thank you for joining us here at the National Business Choice. And folks, thank you for joining me. I'm Robin Steinberg here at the National Business Choice, New York. Have a great day ahead. Bye.